one three two one there we go sorry about that folks uh, having some Google issues which uh, which I guess would be uh, infinite infinite number of issues apologies uh, we are live apparently good morning morning market exchange as soon as I say the markets bad uh, yeah blood in the streets and then uh, we get we get bounced I don't know what that's all about uh, right across the board, 181467 on the S&P 500. Is that right? 181455, 1591260 on the Dow, dropping 50 points or so. Nazi 4198, trying to hold everybody up. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's check out his outfit today, looking like Johnny Weir. <laughs> Up, I don't know what's going on, man. I just I, I I broke everything and then uh, it had to reboot and it's just it's all kinds of all kinds of crazy. It happens, you know. I think uh, I think Putin's behind this. Oh snap! It's I don't Putin. know, man. It's, yeah, you uh, put out a Putin. Yeah, you put out a Putin tweet. I, just, I try and do all my tricks, you know. I try and do my McTwisty, yeah. my uh, Whole Foods Market McTwisty, and uh, and there I go. I end up uh, landing in a Big pile of slush. Good morning, Mosca. Sicarius. Bob, we're here. Finally. Everybody. Sorry about that. Everybody, coming at you live. The NASDAQ goes green as soon as we come on. That's uh, We're like yelling. We just need to keep talking. Right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, everybody, uh, the futures didn't look so bright, but uh, mm. the, just the HFTs are trying to get in the full-on bull mode here and fighting back, scrapping, clawing back. Scrapping and clawing back. It's, uh, uh, it's, it's amateur. It's amateur hour, though, really, King. Sewell, I'm just, I'm fired up. The uh, the figure skating the uh, has me all fired up. In, in true, in the spirit of the Olympics, mm. I'm just, I'm, I'm going to go out, I'm going to go to the thrift store and get me one of those uh, Johnny Weir blouses with the, uh, the lace number. Nice, yeah. I'm gonna rock it out tomorrow on uh, on Casual Friday. I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> I dare you do you not me. dare me, sir. <laughs> I'll get uh, I'll go full on bling, both earrings, matching uh, earrings, and uh, and bracelets. Oh I'm man, doing. Mio Twit is with us. Mio Twit, what up? Boy? Look at this, and here comes here comes Turtle Trader early. Just uh, busting out, busting out the trades, Turtle Trader. Okay. I've been, I've been long Nvidia, NVDA for NVIDIA. quite some time. So uh, I think it's time after, after that lovely report, after the close yesterday. Nvidia has outperformed Cisco, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Thank you, John Chambers. You are you've been an excellent CEO. Jump out of the tanning bed and uh, let's let somebody who's hungry take over Cisco. All right. <laughs> all right, Mio Twit talking live. Yep, throwing live in my face. That's all right. Somebody get KRS Capital back on here so I can I can issue a a face to face internet uh, virtual apology. It's, it's you okay, man? You all right? Yeah, always do I, need, good, man. do I need to turn this up? Am I loud? Can you hear me? Yeah, you sound, you sound okay. I just, I want everybody to feel my heat. <laughs> uh, give me that ticket again. In, in, uh, NVDA. NVDA. It's time. I think it's time. I've, I've got to, I'm in a cash crunch, so I've, I've got to let go of some stuff. Just some little non-essential Nice, nice runs. Here we go. Uh, let's let's hit Turtle Trader. NVDA, you got that up. I had some trades trigger yesterday while out. NVDA new added to uh, Baker Hughes, mm. added to AMGN, and increased his stash in pot. You're Turtle Trader. Turtle Trader is turning it up. He's That's there. right. We're gonna get the DEA after Turtle Trader. He's just he's gobbling up all the pot he can. Ticker mm. POT potash and he's trimming some HPQ mm. uh, earnings on Monday. So what do we got here for 
with uh, NVIDIA? Should I? Is it time time for me to leave? Why do you say that? I don't know. I just I got I've got twenty eight twenty eight percent to the good. I think it's I think it's. Uh, yeah. But I mean, uh, <clears throat> so why get rid of the winners though? Still uh, you want me to get rid of the losers? You want me to get rid yeah. of the Rentech? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get rid of the losers. Don't start with the winners. I, I got to take some money off the table. So, and this one just broke out, basically. I call a nice right. looking salutation, right? So, uh, yeah. you think it's, uh, cool. it's going to make some noise now? It could. What, what's up? What, you, what are they? possibly go wrong. Uh, yeah, um, okay, NVIDIA, ticker NVDA, NVIDIA mm -hmm. Corporation, earnings beat estimates uh, by $0.08, cents. they beat on revenues, and they guide uh, Q1 revenues in line, um, let's see, uh, they're, they're gamers, dude, they're gamers, get your game on. So we got a 52-week uh, high with NVIDIA. What do uh, you mean? Did they make games, you said? Yeah. Okay. What are some of their games? Let me see if I can pull up some labels here. Yeah. Visual computing develops graphic chips for use in PCs, mobile, supercomputer, operates through segments, GPU, Integra processors. Okay. They don't make the actual games. They make the games better. Oh. What was that... Uh, what was that commercial? What was that company? German outfit. BASF. Is that right? Maybe. Yeah. Sounds good. We don't, we don't make the products you love. Mm -hmm. We make the products better or something like that. Okay. So, well, I don't know. Yeah. Party's just starting in NVIDIA. Okay. That's what Turtle yeah. Trader is saying. All right. I'll yeah. stay on. Yeah. I'll stay on then. I'll, uh, I'll kick a loser out of bed for eating crackers then. Right. So it's a, it's an earnings bonanza. It's like uh, the the Olympics of earnings, and um, somebody I don't know. Can we pick out the uh, the the gold medal winners from the uh, from the Sean Whites? Let's see. Um, uh, to be honest, man, I haven't even been watching the, uh, the Olympics. You, know. you haven't, so no. you're not a true American. Yeah, probably. So basically, yeah. Sewell, what you're saying is you're a terrorist. Basically. <laughs> that's bad, man. But basically, I mean, but it's in Russia, so I should get a pass. It's in Russia. But, yeah. it's, in a, it's in a resort outfit. It's mm -hmm. 60 freaking degrees during the Winter Olympics. What is going on there? Yeah. Every time I look at it, I see some, some people just like skiing on like a flat surface. Yeah, that's yeah. typically what they ski on, man. You don't want to ski. Yeah. It's hard to ski uphill. No, but you got to ski downhill. <laughs> They're not even skiing downhill. They're on the like, flat surfaces. Let me and tell they, you, the uh, the downhill, the women's downhill yesterday was yeah. exciting. We even had a crash. I see. I, no, I, I, I missed that. I don't, I, they the ones I would have watched. I would have watched the women's downhill. That's, so. why, that's why rednecks watch uh, NASCAR, right? I don't know. No. Turn Redneck. left and crash. No, they like to drive with the, you know, they don't crash too, though. Yeah. Mm hmm. They, you know, the wind that's kind of got a need for speed. Need for speed. Need um, for speed. It's just like bootlegging babe and all that, man. Mm -hmm. you know? No, no. <laughs> ain't, ain't they having NASCAR and all that started, if I'm mistaken? <laughs> bootleggers, yep. Bootleggers, the brand right? Yep. Um, let's see. Uh, apparently, Pepsi, Pepsi beat. Uh, they're just they're barely green. Ticker PEP, no position. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Santoli, fix your stinking website, bro. PEP. 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 They beat by four cents on the EPS revenues in line. Guides fiscal fourteen raises the dividend fifteen percent. Sewell. Yeah. And they're buying back five billion dollars in stock this year, and a five billion productivity program through twenty nineteen, and you get a one percent yawn out of it. Uh, on which one? 
Pepsi. P E P. P E P. Pepsi. Um, I, I got it. Maybe I got a refresh. You okay, man? You all right? No, no, I got them down. Uh, two point eight percent. That's what I'm. I'm. I'm refreshing here. I got Nasdaq real time. There we go. Now we're red. Two point eight percent. Is that right? Yeah. What the heck, Santoli? Man. <laughs> they don't like giving out real time for free, man. Sorry, sir. up with that. I don't know. Let me, it must cost let me go to fin Let me go to Finviz. At least they're 20 minutes behind. Santoli's like three days behind here on Yahoo. Uh -huh. All right. So uh, there's there's your Pepsi. I've got a long because I like I like uh, everything I'm hearing, and they're down. So you know me, Sewell. That's yeah. a that's a that looks like a pretty solid beat, and um, I guess everybody wanted more. All right. So uh, I got uh, a couple lines up that are pretty simple, but you know they were great uh, you know, great support areas, right? So you can watch this and see, uh, you know, how it works out. Start uh, breaking down under 79, approaching 78, get under 78 or something like that. You know, there's some uh, there's some real weakness there. The uh, the risk with these uh, with the big boys is that one of the big boys want to get out of it. You know, yep. you don't want to yeah you don't want to be buying my he selling because somebody else is going to be buying it. But you know you know how I go. Uh, if I want to buy something, I'm going to try. To, and it's going down. I'm going to try to wait to get the get the lowest price. I'm not going. You know, I don't want to buy it. Uh, I'm going to pay too much. Oh. Yeah, you know, you know who's buying it. Who's buying it? They are. Somebody, yeah, yeah. Five billion dollars this year. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? So uh, they ain't mad. They, they, you know for sure they're taking a, you know, at least a semi-long-term view. You know what I'm saying? They got uh, the recent swing loads is uh, beginning of February, down around. 7825. You need to see those holes. You need to see those holes. You know it's a, you know it's a, it's an earnings beat that missed. You, you feel like right? That's right. I love okay. it. <laughs> so now look, this is the thing. If you uh, <clears throat> if we get to see a you know about this is a nice move down here. There is no reason why you shouldn't see uh, you know nice follow through and continuation to the downside. If we don't see that. We start seeing it bounce back towards 80. Maybe after the day, you know, maybe a little rest tomorrow, and then Monday push back up. You know, you know, uh, the people who were uh, at this level before are back. You know, somebody, yep. somebody was here before. Let's uh, let's keep an eye on this. Monday the train <clears throat> should start rolling. If not, um, if not, it uh, might be tough sledding for a little while in the short term for PEP. Which actually might be a nice time for them to uh, start buying back five billion dollars worth exactly. of their stock. Exactly. And who is that? Uh, who is uh, Mutton Chops on the uh, on the TV screaming that buybacks weren't good? Somebody slap him in the face. <laughs> some uh, buybacks, probably some of them, all of them can't be good all the time. Yeah. Uh, so this is I, I don't know this is how I look at it. If 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 there's something uh, better they could be doing with the money. Then buying back stock, then buying back is not good. If it's not something better that they can do with the money, then buying back their stocks, then buying back stocks is yeah. Uh, yeah, he wants them to spend their money on employees. Yeah. Hire the, people rather than buy back your stock. Yeah, but you know, they don't want to hire people just to fire people. To fire people. I get it. It's taxing. Fire, yeah, you know, you don't want to be like Radio Shack. Radio Shack is they're hiring and laying off people and closing stores at the same time. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, poor a lot Radio of people, Shack. Yeah, no, but this is the thing. A lot of a lot of uh, franchises and people and stores that were supposed to uh, close, or a lot of uh, brands that were supposed to close a lot of stores, uh, never got a chance to close a lot of stores because you know we had all the buybacks and stuff like that. They did their layoffs or whatever the case may be, and they did do some closings. But now we see a, you know, another rash of closing coming, right? All of a sudden, it seems like over the past couple of weeks, everybody's uh, closing, uh, you know, 10, 15 stores laying off 
couple thousand, few thousand people, right? That's a that's a sign of a healthy economy, though, right? That's uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the whole thing, I'm saying it, it would be. Well, there are too many of us. Yeah, I mean, it would be even healthier if this all this happened in 2009, 2010. Not everybody gets to be an astronaut. Not everybody gets mm -hmm. to have a job. So it's uh, it's no, that's not the way everybody America gets is to, now, man. Yeah, but this is the thing. Not everybody gets to have a job. Nobody, not everybody gets to be an astronaut. But in an economy this big, <laughs> I'm, I'm keeping it real. In, a, in an economy this big, uh, uh, you let this thing clear. The rebound is uh, crazy, and it, it, it's been like that uh, prior to. The, the Fed, before we had a Fed, and they didn't know what to do. You know what I mean? It was it was a snapback that was, uh, you know, a lot faster than these. this is. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, well, we've gotten into a situation where the Fed is trying to do the job, the uh, yeah. legislative branch's job. Yeah. So I don't want to talk about the Fed because I'm going to do, I'm going to start punching myself in the face. Um, I don't want to about the everything man. just went green as soon as we started talking. No, it didn't. Yeah, man, man, fix the screen refresh already, you punk. No, but uh, uh, <laughs> Kim, <laughs> uh, they pushing the you know uh, bulls are, you green. know trying it. They hold they hold some ground. They it's going them. green. We're going a hundred points higher. Watch it. I would be. Do not impressed. doubt me, Sewell. I will be impressed. You'll be impressed. Watch, I'm yeah, gonna do it all by myself. I will be impressed, man. I will. Like, I will, I will be your hero, America. Listen, uh, you know what I said. All SBX, if the Bulls can win, I said they can win yesterday. They won eighteen hundred. They can, it's stretching out now today. You know, Thursday or one more day after that, uh, they can win the week if they can hold eighteen hundred. Now, if they can hold eighteen hundred. They, they win the week still. That's right. That's, yeah. uh, and I, I noticed they uh, they they called off school for Janet Yellen, so she's got a snow day. Mm -hmm. um, so she gets to go uh, what doing her um, cross country skiing or whatever whatever it is she does for fun. Yeah, she booed up right now. She's a uh, late. <laughs> she's in there waiting for uh, what's her name to come on. Uh, waiting for House of Cards to come on Netflix. Is that it? She's yeah. doing the House of Cards marathon. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Netflix up again today. Netflix. Good morning, everybody. Sicarius, good morning. We missed you yesterday. Uh, we will take a look at AFSI. Uh, Bob, good morning. I believe I said uh, Mio Twit. Nice to have you on board going through here. Howdy to all from Mio Twit. So he's saying hello to everybody. Mio Twit. Carius is buying. He's just—he's absolutely bananas. I love it. That is—that is a true patriot right there. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Sicarius is buying hand over fist. Mm -hmm. W E T F. I love it. You go. Uh, Stock cats. Good morning. We got. Uh, so I hope you're not allergic to cats because we uh, we got one roaming around in the. Uh, I'm not allergic to stock cats. In the chat room. So I've got a headline here, and I, I believe, I don't know how many times I have to say it. Every time Cisco has a stinking conference call, here's your headline from the uh, from the breakout kids. I don't know if this is my man Mackie or not. Mm -hmm. Attention, Carl Icahn. Cisco shareholders need a hero. <laughs> Now, Sewell, I, I put out there on the on the Twitters yesterday during earnings, during the earnings call, where I'm serious. I, I think Chambers conducts the uh, conducts the Cisco conference call from his tanning bed. The oh, man yeah. has a spectacular tan; it is immaculate. Come on, you gotta find a picture of him. Huh? Even even during the polar vortex, the man just you he's gotta he's like find a picture of him. I don't know what this guy looks like or anything. Come on. He is this generation's George Hamilton. Yeah. I never I never had any dealings with uh, outside uh, you know, buying their products inside of a computer well, or something. You, like that. you have to buy their products because they yeah. bought everybody they bought all their competitors except for Belkin or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, Chambers, it's time time to move on. Go uh, go deep sea fishing on your yacht or whatever. 
Yeah. Just it's move on, man. All right, here we go. The uh, the BTFD TV chat room is jumping. You got AFSI up? AFSI. AFSI. Mm -hmm. Am trust uh -oh. finance seal. Uh oh. Fifteen yeah. percent. Yeah, I got some lines up here too, so we've looked at this before. Absolutely. <clears throat> this is courtesy of Sicarius, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Sicarius. Is this a big winner for you? Sick. It's nice, and it looks like a. Uh, let's see that. So oh, I didn't. I didn't have them on my uh, on my earnings BM, which oh, so uh, stands for before market, by the way. Check out their uh, earnings. What is it? What, what does it look like? Uh, apparently, it's just a a serious beat. Serious. Let's see. Let me let me jump to them. Hold on. <sighs> it's it's all over the place. Hang on. I, don't, I, I swear, I swear I rebooted. Mom, I got my headgear on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Amtrust. This thing moved from, uh, this thing moved from 42 down to like 27. Hey, here you go. December. Um, this sounds like this name sounds familiar. Brower Piven encourages investors who have losses in excess of two hundred thousand dollars from investment in Amtrust Financial Services to contact Brower Piven. So Amtrust, AFSI, no position. Mm. Sicarius, I hope you're winning with this one. Yeah. I'm going full Lotus right here. Hang on. Uh, so they've got vultures sniffing around their garbage dumpsters. Right. Right. Apparently their earnings really didn't care. I love it. Yeah. Um, let me. But uh, their earnings didn't care because uh, the thing went from uh, 42 to 27 already. You know what I mean? A lot of stocks need to, need this type of flush, and they can have some 15 percent days also. You know what I mean? But uh, this is this is a great looking. Uh, it's a great little chart. If if they can hold this uh, these levels here, it's 35, 44, 35, 46, or even push higher. Is the call going on right now? Hang on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's... No, it's just hold music. Here's I'm on the Sewell. This yeah. is the live webcast of the Amtrust earnings conference call. Nice, nice. Did we ever find out if it was if it was illegal to uh to uh protest? No, they're just, they're, so they're just too stinking boring. They're it's it's almost oh, like trying to watch financial acrobat. All right, so <laughs> AFSI. Um, let me if somebody can get me some uh, some nombres on this uh, on this fella. Mm -hmm. Let me. I'm, I'm trying to refresh. I'm not. We'll uh we'll check that out. Sicarius, if you're in this, well done. Well done, bro. Well done. Uh, yep, yeah. and we'll make fun of the uh the the ambulance chasing vultures that are sniffing around Amtrust garbage dumpsters. Mm. Go get them, Brower Piven, you you parasites. What else what else we got, so uh, you ready to wrap it up? Thirty-seven, thirty-three <laughs> on uh, AFSI. Thirty-seven, thirty-three. If this can hold thirty-five, forty, uh, it's a nice uh, uh, momentum to and it. And it has a double bottom look, but I, I can't call it a double bottom because uh, this, it didn't go lower yeah, this as bottom. Low. Yeah, this bottom didn't, under, didn't get undercut, but. Uh, it's definitely a snapback. And after 37, 33, uh, it's going to try to get back up to those uh, 42s most likely. Off to the and, races. And then, right. Uh, and, hopefully well, the kids at Brower Piven will uh, will just move on elsewhere and go sue New Skin or something. Yeah. Or they can, you know, they might uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They could take it, get some money out of the deal, but uh, it might, it's probably not enough to. Uh, this hope is not enough to, uh, you know, 
I take the whole company out. Chances, uh, is probably, man, probably yeah. not. Fifty bucks says Brower Piven as some punk that looks like Corbin Burnson. On yeah, see what I mean? Uh, that type of thing. He's got he's got thing. fangs and he's got his he's got veneered fangs. That type of thing. Yeah. yeah. Always. Let me look at uh, <laughs> look at USG. USG is giving them a chance to uh, give you a chance to buy. USG is letting you in the door. USG is letting you in the door. USG uh, is a different type of. Uh, that thing's been a beast ever ever since uh, people started talking about housing rebound. And yeah, uh, yeah Owens Corning the same way. Owens Corning. Excuse me. No little. Uh, uh, USG is not giving up much. I mean, I like I like USG. It has so much. Uh, it looks like a value play on the on the charts. And What's Uncle the, Warren owns thirty percent of that. See you know what I mean? That's another thing. I mean, people you know, people follow Uncle Warren for a reason. And he's being quiet about it too. He's not tweeting it. Exactly. He's, you don't see him talking about this anytime, anywhere. He don't like that we talk about it. He's like, Shut up, guys. Uh, Sicarius so telling me that um, Brower Piven. I believe I'm pretty sure they're suing uh, New Skin, mm. but uh, can somebody can we get an SEC type organization that doesn't have any teeth that just goes after these leeches? Um, what else? What else do I call them? Vultures? Hey, but, parasites? No, they're Kim, like you, you need them. You need them, though. Kim. You need them to. Uh, need lawyers? Yeah, you need lawyers. You need Whatever. them. Well, you need especially need those type of lawyers. I need. And, the same re for the same reason you need uh, part of the same reason that you need short sellers. I you need, need somebody to uh, for it to be in their interest to find the dirty things on uh, on on the company. I need Brower Piven like I need a second rectum. All right, so <laughs> we are moving on. <laughs> AMGN uh, Turtle Traders three quarters in now scaling in. I love it. That's my a style. He's speaking. He's speaking my AMGN. language. AMGN. Okay. AMGN Inc. No position, okay. uh, but we are rooting for it. We're AMGN. in spirit for uh, for our man Turtle Trader. Yeah, Turtle Trader, get him, man, get him. This thing is a. Uh, this thing has been on a run, and. Uh, is this just going up with every other biopharma on the planet? I'm telling you, man. Bio, we're about. Uh, it's. I'm gonna say we're about a month, maybe two months away from uh, from a bunch of screaming heads on the TV talking about the uh, biopharma bubbles. Yeah, I do think so. I think so. Uh, Biogen's up today. And jazz is up just a scotch. Uh, LinkedIn just got completely emasculated. What the heck, man? I'm just I've lost I've lost two shirts and a layer of skin. Like uh, the, the top two layers of skin. I've got third degree burns with LinkedIn. So um, somebody brought up Borg Warner. I've got him on my list. Uh, BM ticker uh, BM is in before market. Uh, ticker BWA. They reported uh, well. Good luck, luck on this Amgen. Uh, uh, yeah. Only the only thing uh, I can see is you know you got a moonshot here, but you you got it. And this is the whole market, but it's a little more pronounced uh, on this chart. You have uh, you got it going up on on a smaller smaller volume. We can we can we can volume. So watch out for. Uh, you know, keep your eyes peeled with this joint security. Make sure you don't get a, uh, you know, a big spike, a big red spike. Oh, this is a monthly chart also. So you know. Yeah, he's only he's only three quarters in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got he got some he he has some dry powder in case you do get that spike. Nice, nice, nice. Yep. Nice. Uh, Turtle, you got a stop on this bad boy? Uh, I like. Uh, well, I was about to say I'd like to know what it's at, but it don't, it don't matter. You got to stop coming up there and try to get it stopped. Yeah. Add a stop to the algo. Something like that. 
need, we need to put an if then statement in our algo. That's uh no, they just add probably numbers or wherever wherever the stops are clustered at. If he's if he's close to one of those clusters, they'd be aiming for them. They don't care. Yeah, I mean, they make money. They don't care. Money. They'll completely miss it. Next thing you know, you're walking around in wet socks. Yeah. Sewell! What's up, baby boy? Borg Warner, BWA. We we uh, spoke know. to this one last week, did we not? Okay. Yeah. Sicarious. It sounds familiar. Um... um that's a nice little beat, yeah. 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 Beat by eight cents on the EPS revenues in line. Reaffirms fiscal fourteen EPS guidance. Right. Nice man. Nice looking charge here. Mm -hmm. Nice looking and charge here. Yeah, at the beginning of the month, uh, Borg Warner was retained at neutral with Zach's. Okay. So there you go. Okay. You got a you got a wafer thin one percent yield with uh, with BWA. No position here. High quality stock. Just saying from uh, from Sicarius. Okay. There's your stop. Nice turtle trader. God, man, he's strong. Okay. Wait, is that? One of the most underfollowed people out there. Uh, turtle at turtle trader fifty nine. He's got a one seventeen sixty three stop. On uh, on Amgen, so nice. there you go. There you go. That's what's up. Sewell, your correction's over, man. You were wrong. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just like I was a complete idiot about live. Um, okay. Yeah. Hey, hey and if you notice, if you notice after the show, um, live had moved on the uh, on the Yahoo Finance percentage losers over yeah. to percentage gainers. So I want to I want to thank you for uh, rectifying that situation. Look at live today. What's it doing? Is it? Uh, it's up fourteen percent today. It's rolling. Go it's get rolling. it. Rolling. Big volume also. Go get it. Apologies again, KRS Capital. Big volume. KRS goes. One. I don't I don't think the I don't think the uh, I still you know I don't think the correction is over, but it could be you know uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm looking at these futures down uh, two and almost two and a half percent. Yeah. But uh, you know, that means you, know, you got to take it with a grain of salt because the U.S. stocks could still go up against that. It has happened before, probably will happen again. But we shall see. What? Uh, uh, last year we had two corrections, yeah. right? That, that word is getting about as annoying as taper to me. Okay. Um, <clears throat> uh, we had two last year, right? Uh, I didn't see them. I didn't. I didn't yeah. I, did we have a ten percent move down last year? No, no. We had we had two okay. five percenters, but they yeah. just roared right. Yeah, they back. were dips. They were dips in corrections. That's not a correction. No, I didn't correct. I thought it was ten percent. Yeah, you better come correct with your correction. Yeah, but it was ten percent. We had we had a, we had a couple of dips in the last week, mm -hmm. you know. That's that's cool. So now the uh, the new definition of correction for everybody out there is five percent, apparently. Hey, I mean, you you're allowed if you want to end. You want to say that? You want that? You know. I'm not going to change the rules for everybody else. Yeah, you know? I think people just like labeling things just to make it easier, just to simplify, yeah. which is kind of annoying. I don't, I'm not a fan of labels. Um, yeah, Chad. Uh, Chad was uh, a little late arriving yesterday. I, I actually issued a public, virtual, face-to-face uh, -face apology to KRS Capital. I still can't get a P and E with Live, probably because they, you know, they're just crazy. But uh, yeah, that's cool. Go get it. I I love it now. I'm gonna go buy some, so I'm gonna buy two thousand dollars worth of live. What could what could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? It's waiting for you. It's, it's waiting for you to buy. It's waiting it. for me to jump in, so it'll yeah. okay. He the the idiot's yeah. in now. We can we sell. Got him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get chopped in and have, and then buy it back. You know what I mean? And it's oh blood. man. It's um, it seems like that. Anytime I chase something out, it seems like a, yeah. Yeah, 
They were just waiting for it. That's the signal. Yeah. That's the uh, that's the algo signal. All right. Waiting for me to chase. All right. The uh, the sheep have come to the slaughter. We can sell now. Uh, Sewell, Time Warner Cable, TWC is up uh, in the most actives, almost 7% because um, Comcast says uh, he wants to buy them. Comcast is buying them, this is a big deal. Uh, just saying they want to. This is a big deal. What's, uh, conversely, what's CMCSAQXY dot? XL4, so they're, okay, I, I'm not sure I can trust my quotes. Are they down over 3%? Yeah, they're down over 3.5%. Yeah. They're the acquirer. And they didn't take on a lot of debt. They don't want to take on a lot of debt. They want to buy it all right. And I'm not mad at them. Some people are, though, <coughs> as you can see. Uh, that's cool. You want me to take a, uh, here, let me show you something. Hang on. No, I don't want to show you that. What happened? What happened? I don't know. Uh -uh. I got it. Right now, I'm looking at my screen. Uh -huh. <clears throat> 10.42 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, NASDAQ real-time price, 55.12 for Comcast. Santoli! Fix your software, bro. Because you're just getting slowed down from, uh, <laughs> you know from I mean? the freeze. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Yahoo is frozen. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Chad, live three for one split yesterday. Takes a real man to say that, Kyle. Yeah. I don't, I, I don't know about real man, but. Takes a real man, man. Nah. I'm not. I'm not mad what at anybody think, except for John Chambers. John Chambers, explain yourself with your with your immaculate tan. <laughs> I've owned that stock. That was one of the first stocks I bought with uh, with. Um, can I? Should I say their name? Yeah, uh, Raymond James. Uh, yeah. Fifty dollars is the commission on that buy. Uh, but why? Why don't you like uh, saying people's names? Like, I don't know. Them? It's yeah. It's, free advertisement is a good thing. Man. That's it's not free thing. advertisement. Yeah, it is free. What, you, want free that? you want free advertisement? Don't go to cons. How about that? You know what I mean? Both, it, it cuts both ways, though. That's what Don't I mean. Don't go to cons, ever. If, 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 Kim, if you want to be able to freely <laughs> say something bad, but yeah, if you want to be freely say something bad about companies, you got to say good stuff about companies, too. I don't have anything good to say about Raymond James, Sewell. Not Raymond James? Well, what, no. Okay. That was before, that was before uh, I figured out what a discount brokerage was. Okay. Okay. And they just let me walk in with my two hundred dollar referee check and, and buy ten shares of Cisco like it was nothing. That'll be fifty dollars, thank you. <laughs> they loved you that day. Like, That's right. You were story just, somewhere. They're all somewhere. laughing like yeah. who is this? <laughs> you, you remember, they're like, yeah, do you remember that guy? On? That guy came in here with Are you serious? He really <laughs> just did that? Yeah, that was they loved that. They loved and you. And then he walked in here and bought Razorfish right after that. <laughs> That's my. That was my meltdown story. The internet bubble meltdown with the Razorfish. All right. Um, you need those times, those experiences. Man. That's right. That's you know, how you learn. That's how you learn. It's painful. That's how I learned how much I hate losing. Um, Turtle Trader's looking for 1825 on the close of ES today. Okay. Okay. Get your get your close numbers in. Get your close you numbers go. in. Eighteen twenty five. Uh I'm gonna say lower. Yeah, I am too. Let me pull up the end of the chart I'm gonna say we're since Yellen isn't talking, since yeah, she's got a snow day. Uh with her angel white hair. Yeah. Does she talk funny to you, Sol? No. I can't figure out the 
the it's accents. It's with Brooklyn. The, it's a, it's a, it's uh, a it's Jewish Brooklyn. girl from Brooklyn. Yeah, it is. Yeah? It is. I didn't think it was Brooklyn either. I thought it was just a Jewish girl. Okay. That's what, it, that's what it came off to me. Uh, if, you're gonna, if you're going to be all anti-Semitic about it. I... No, I'm not anti-Semitic. <laughs> that's the, that's the, uh, that's the know, accent. Man. That's the kidding. accent. It's a New York thing, though. It ain't, you know, you can't all do you think, uh, I wanna, Does anybody have a high school yearbook photo of her? No. I want to see that. No. I want to see Janet Yellen with the big Brooklyn. Now, are you sure? Is it Brooklyn or Bensonhurst? Benson Heist. And that's the same thing, though. Benson Heist. <laughs> that's the same With thing. Snapping her chewing her. gum. I don't know the exact. I don't know the exact neighborhood. She's she got. She's got her package of blackjack gum. Snapping it. The bulls are gonna in, try it though. They're gonna try it. Typing class. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You gonna play games with Jane Yellen? No, I love Jane Yellen so. Think she was in typing class, kid. She's a very accomplished lady, man. Oh, I know, I know. Up. I'm just, yeah. I'm, I'm talking high school, man. Yeah, high school, so, high school. The uh, the pickings are slim. That's yeah, far as you're... yeah. High school, she probably was top of the class, so she probably excelled there, man. She's a, like, right. she's a beast. Yeah. That's she's where I got... learned how to make pizza. See, high school. She, you know what I mean? That was she was learning. Homec. She was learning calculus while you were doing the pizza. While I was making pizza. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. It's all right. We all can't be astronauts, you know? That's exactly. Would you like you fries with that? Like, hey, uh, hey, that's what my, my high school counselor said. Just, I want you to learn this line. Would you no, like you fries didn't. with that? No, you didn't. No, you didn't. I took the, uh, yeah, I took the... The achievement test, and um, I was destined to be in in my career. I was destined be, to be a fire watcher. That's crazy. Would you like fries with that? Achievement test. All right, come on, Bulls. Amateur hour's over. Let's go. They're gonna try it. They're gonna try. As he's I don't green. know if they're gonna uh, succeed, but they're gonna try it. Uh, if you put those in the ten-year U.S. Treasury notes yesterday, if you had the cojones. Right? You got yeah. your you, know, you got your twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven ticks. You remember just twenty ticks. So that'll work. You know what I mean? Maybe uh, see uh, this is the, you got another decision to make today though. Do you uh do you take your little twenty seven ticks? Which is uh, not bad at all for a trade or do you uh Hold on here and see what and see what happens. See if the bulls can come back and uh, if they push down or if the bulls fail and the bonds or the notes push higher. Uh, I think uh, I think bonds go higher, but hey, it, could, uh, it doesn't have to, have to happen that way because we are you know, trying to bounce off the of, uh, support right now. Uh, ES is uh, SPX same difference. Uh, it's just the futures have so. That's what I'll be watching today into the goals, how bonds and how SP. You're watching bonds? Yeah, I'm, all, I'm, all, I'm watching bonds right now. They're mad. I'm watching a DXF2 dollar index and stuff. Like blowing my mind right now. And it just is something we haven't been mentioning, man. The suspension of the debt ceiling. What does it mean? I need I need to talk What does it mean? I need, that's just what I need to get POP on for. Like, is it. Uh, does it even matter suspension? anymore? Yes, it matters. It does. It does yeah, matter. It so it doesn't matter in Australia. So may I, I remember when uh, when Australia uh, junked their debt ceiling, just did away with the whole thing, yeah. the whole nonsense. Yeah. Um, yeah. Did their yeah. dollar plummet? Yeah. It did. Yeah. How's it, it how's it doing right now? Uh, how's the AUD yeah. doing? Let me check it out. How's the AUD doing in terms of gold? Yeah. <laughs> That's the one I don't get. Where are we at? Gold. Hold on a second. So uh, it's, it's trading at 89.81. It was up around uh, around par a little while ago, or nice little, uh, a little a little while ago, but, you know, last year. But when when they uh, what do you have up right now? Uh, Is that something else? 
Yeah, there's something else. Okay. I'll, put it, I'll put it up. Give me a second. No, that's all right. I got... Um, are you looking at AUD USD? AUD USD. I'm going to put it up though, so you know, that's I'm cool. I, I got 90. I got 89.81. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to share this over with y'all too. And, uh,. So yeah, it didn't, it didn't, uh, it didn't make it uh, completely fell out of bed right against no. uh, USD, right? But uh, so USD was weak it, itself, you know, but it, it, you know, it did start showing weakness here. But places like uh, like uh, GBP, AUD, right? Uh, it's been weak there too, but these are uh, they only did that a couple of months ago, right? Uh, I thought it was was it the fall, <laughs> which is actually <laughs> spring. Then, right? we, was, we, we were on air at the time, so I don't know how long we've been on, but I know we were on. Uh, so we're, we're closing in on 100 episodes, man. We're closing in on 100 episodes, yeah. that's right. Yeah, man. Not that, not that anybody watches, but. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Santoli watches, I know. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it, it, it their uh, their dial didn't exactly uh, fall out of bed, no. Right. But it did start, you know, it did start showing some weakness around that, around that time. And not just uh, not just because of their debt selling uh, issue, not just because they you know suspended or they just got rid of the debt selling, but because their economy is you know having some rough times with China slowing. They're going through some transition transition there also. They want to go from manufacturing to uh S P five hundred just went red. Else. Just oh. went green, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm colorblind today. Oh, okay. S P five hundred eighteen twenty. Oh, oh. Oh, get out the champagne. Go get it, Turtle Trader. Get out the champagne. Um It's all right, let's not look, it's coming. Here we go. Old say. man Dow's fighting it too. Go get it. Get green. We're gonna we're gonna do a countdown like the like Dick Clark and rocking New Year's Eve. Alright. Here we go. Get ready. Everybody when um when it goes green, everybody scream. Everybody scream. I got a green on. You got a green on? Yeah, I got a green on SPX. Well, what you was talking about? Well, yeah, that's I already said that. Oh but snap, my fault. You want to see my screen refresh? Which one are you? Who are you talking about? No, hold on. I want to tell you about my screen refresh here. Go ahead. I've got the S and P up one percent, the Dow up one point two five percent, the Nasdaq up one <laughs> percent. Nice screen yeah. refresh. Man. <laughs> well, Maybe I should clear those cookies. Right. <laughs> What's going well, on, man? You gotta clear the cookie, clear the cash in, man. That's right. Let's uh, let me do that right now. See yeah, what happens. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, there, there it goes, Sewell. Old man Dow's coming at you. Yeah, yeah. I see him. I Nazi's see him. Up, uh, Nazi's up almost 15 points. Here it comes. Yeah. Get ready. So, this is an SPX chart. I got 18, 23, 25. I want to see them. You get above there. They, they got above there uh, yesterday. They couldn't hold it. They get above there. They take out yesterday's highs. Uh, this thing is off the races. Boom. Green. Old man Dow is green. Uh, Give yeah. it up, Sicarius. Great call. Sewell, that's yeah. it. Nowhere to go but up. Everybody All right. buy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Everybody buy everything. It's the American. It's the American way. Amen. Put it on credit. Hey. <coughs> hey, hey, hey. I'm looking at uh, this dollar. Cracky cracks so I wouldn't. That's what I mean. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, you know, stocks push higher. Uh, but. And you know what? In all this nonsense, the fruit company is just churning up. Yeah. Then you look at uh, USDJPY, which is so risk on, risk off. Look, look at how this looks uh, right now. 
just, you know, the bulls are trying it. The bulls are trying it. It's out there. Go yeah. There. Yeah. Let's see what you got with that, right? Um, let me see. What the, I'm sorry, guys. We kind of hijacked your show here. Um, what do you guys want to talk? I wanted to talk about Bunge, ticker BG, who had a big EPS miss, but they're green. Um, let's see. Let's go. Chat's, Chat's just throwing out all the crazy stuff. Uh, Sicarius, those lawyers, uh, back to Brower Piven, my, my vulture friends at Brower Piven. Those lawyers are suing a lot of other good companies, even Macy's, ticker M. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. Go get them, Brower Piven. Okay, so they're like the worst. They're the worst of them. Like, they're like uh, yeah, they're the worst. worst the they're worse they're the than the Better bunch. Call Saul. Right, they're the worst of the bunch, uh, you know, out of the truth, truth seekers, but, uh, truth seekers. Hey, man, you gotta try to put a, you have to try to put a positive spin on it, man. If you don't, man, it'll, it'll, it'll give you ulcers. Ulcers, Let me man. tell you something. Uh, if you're in this class action suit, I'm, I'm talking to you, shareholders. <laughs> if you're in this class action suit and you lost 200k, you know, um, you should have bought the dip. Instead of calling, instead of calling Saul, buy the dip and just chill out. Yeah. AFSI, case in point. There you go. Buy the dip. Don't call your lawyer. Buy the dip. You freaking crybaby. Yeah, you know people don't right. call a lawyer until they sell. All right, you know, they're sold and they're sour. <laughs> they, they, they've been, they've been shipping out, man. Now things up 15 percent, and they're sick about it. You know that. Uh, Chad Lafarge. We've been talking about Kihu for a while. Um, his, uh, he says his. Bill O'Neill FinViz filter wants me to look at Kihu ticker Q I H U. And Q I H U Kihu. Yeah. Nicely. Is Yandex up today? By the way, Tim Seymour. Somebody asked Tim Seymour if Yandex is up. Tim Seymour. <laughs> I love it. And this thing looks, uh, this thing looks good. This thing looks good. It's holding up uh, nicely. Um, did I shoot? Was this one? Of the, no, this isn't one of the tickers I shot to. But we have we have mentioned Kihu numerous yeah. on numerous occasions. Yeah, yeah, we have. We have. Trust me. Go back and look at the archives if you can if you can stand it. It's almost as exciting as Financial Acrobat. Um, no, Yandex is down 75 cents. So well, I should sell now, right? Um, I don't get it. I don't think so. I don't get it, man. Yeah, it, it hit some trigger and Seymour jumped out. and so. Seymour. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, that's interesting. Well, uh, we'll keep an eye on that, Sicarius. What's that? Uh, Wisdom Tree, WETF. Buy on the open, sell on the close. It always saying, uh, he's noticing that it always starts out low and moves higher during the day. Interesting. I like that. So, are you all right? Yep. Switching back. <laughs> He snowed in, man. Yeah, man, this is bad. I hope it's rain. Uh, I hope it turns to rain and, and, uh, and wash it all away. Yeah, and wash it a lot of it away, just enough of it. I'm gonna actually, when I'm refereeing this weekend, I'll take some. I'll take some pictures of uh, of what it looks like when it's 70 degrees here. Yeah, do that. Help us out. Um, yeah. Cisco's down four percent. Let's talk about FB. You want to go FB? Sewell and I have uh, 
Stool and I have long FB positions. That's a new 52-week high today. Um, man, I don't, I don't know. I tried to tell everybody near and dear to me to buy Facebook around Labor Day weekend, and I just, I hope they did. Oh, nice, Turtle Trader. In in her day, Yellen was a true life Rizzo. <laughs> Who? Rizzo from Greece. Oh. Man. Played by the in the movie, played by the lovely Stalker Channing. Yeah. The lovely and talented Stalker Ms. Stalker Channing. Um F B, do we still do we still get in here? I'm only I'm only actually speaking of three quarters full to be uh, to on uh, Turtle Traders theme. I'm only three quarter three quarters full on uh, FB on my long position. Oh, yeah. Hey, look, I can see myself over there. You can still see yourself a little bit now. Look, look that's me pointing at myself. Oh, I that. <laughs> hey, <laughs> don't <look> <laughs> <laughs> I was saying, I thought you didn't want to. I thought you didn't want no, to get man. a double vertical. There, look at that. Look at that shirt. What the heck am I wearing? I look like Johnny oh, Weir's. Yeah, I look like Johnny Weir's adopted cousin. All right. It's a shirt, man. It's what are we good. talking, kids? Uh, earnings it's have been. FB. FB. We're talking FB. Is it any uh, most active today? Um. Yes, it is. 17 million shares exchanging hands with FB today. Early on, uh, SiriusXM is uh, the tippity top. Cisco um, coming at you at number two. CMCSA. Uh, is that right? Come on, man. Santoli, help me out, please. Yeah, Santoli, help me out. Sir <laughs> SiriusXM. Uh, Cisco, Comcast, Bank of America, always in there. It's the trader's favorite. And uh, FB, bringing up the uh, most actives. Let me, see. Let me see if there are any losers. Look at Angie's list. Why would anybody buy Angie's list? That thing's puking about 16% today. Angie's list. What's the... Uh... A A N G I. N G I. Somebody liked it. Angie's list, man. Do and you use that? Uh, no, I don't. No. This is uh, not ugly. But it was good. It's been ugly. Yeah, it was good. Since October. Yeah. It was trying to come back, though. People had hope. Yeah. And, and it tapped the uh, 200 day and then the first 20 day up at 19 uh, and change and then reversed. Pretty ugly. Yeah, pretty ugly reverse. Now I'm trying to get back above the 50 days. I don't use it. I don't know anyone uh, that uses it either. Yeah, I don't. <clears throat> I don't know. Um, Manchester United vow shake up as Arsenal game ends in stalemate. Uh, they reported earnings. <laughs> but, uh, Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Um, uh, Tesla is up three percent, over three percent. Tesla ticker T S L A. Did we bring that up last week, Sewell? I forget. Yeah. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. I forgot. Yeah. I love that two hundred area. Um, what was? We brought it up Friday, which. TSLA, and we have no position, by the way, kids. We brought it up Friday, spoke about it with uh, with the trading wife. Tesla opened mm -hmm. at 181, closed at 186. Mm -hmm. Just saying. But we don't we don't offer anything for traders. Um, uh, how dare we? That's right. How dare we try to offer something for the traders? Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, 
Turtle Traders. Busy boy this morning. Nice. All right. Um, that bull let's... work, man. Put me in that work for the bulls. What, does Does anybody want to talk about Whole Foods? They missed. I want to talk about them. You do? Yeah. Is it WEF? WFM, Whole WFM. Foods Market, WFM. also known as Whole Paycheck. Oh, and the whole gap down today. There you go. Sheesh. Mm, not too bad. Had a, had a nice little gap down back in uh, November 2015. Uh, um, I think this one has has some more to go. Right. Uh, and right. if you recall, I used to be long this. I was long prior to the two for one split. Um, I actually set a stop at 55.50 and just bowed out and said goodbye to it. Uh, I think there's more downside here, so. Yeah. Last, uh, the last gap down in November led to uh, lower prices. This gap down uh, uh, most likely could do the same thing because it overcut recent swing lows. I mean, undercut recent swing lows. You could see some, uh, maybe a little bit of snapback like you did on this one. And you had a gap down here and then you saw a little bit of snapback. But not really a lot. You know what I mean? This is uh, not cute. No. Not cute. They're at a, it's at a prior resistance to all your support now. So I'm going to put some in. Yeah, I, I don't know about these guys, especially if, uh, if nobody's working. Uh, their, their comps are missing. They, uh, the earnings missed. They cut guidance. Let me see what the uh, our friends at Zach's have to say about them. Uh, I tell you what, um, I had the opportunity to visit a Kroger, a signature Kroger, mm -hmm. and when I walked in, man, let me tell you, it looked a lot like a Whole Foods. I felt like I was in a Whole Foods, especially around the uh, the deli area. Mm -hmm. So that's the uh, that's the problem. Whole Foods. It ain't that nobody's working. It's that somebody's working hard to take their uh get their place from right? other people. So yeah. they were doing, saw their success, and uh, you know copied the style. So now the question is, what what do they do to differentiate themselves? Right. To get those uh you know those, those numbers up. So let's see. Um, uh, same store comps rose 5.4 percent in the quarter, but fell short of expectation and shriveled 50 basis points sequentially for the first three weeks of the second quarter. Comparable store sales increased 5.6 percent. Gross profit rose. Gross margin grew. Um, adjusted EBITDA rose eight percent. Blah blah blah. Da, 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 da. What do we have here? Um, currently, Whole Foods ranks a Zach's number four, which is sell. Uh, yeah, I don't. I'm glad I walked away at fifty-five fifty. So. Yeah. Nice. That was one thing I did right. That's that's my one. It's my one good thing for the year. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, good stuff, man. What do we want to look at? Good stuff. We want to look. Let's look at BG. That, that, this one's interesting to me. They reported uh, BM before market. Okay. Uh, and mine's limited. Give me a give me a quick rundown. What do they do? Uh, they are. Hang on a second. They're ag. Is that correct? Oh. Let me hang on. I'm waiting for screen refresh in here. Uh, agriculture food business agribusiness okay. segment. Um, Sale of commodities, commodity products, oil, seeds, grains, soybeans, 
There's really a seed called rapeseed. Yeah. All right. Uh, anyway, that just I kind of got the creeps there. Okay. Uh, edible oils. Hang on, Sewell. The phone's ringing. Okay. <laughs> edible I think, oils. I think, oh, I think that's my parole officer calling. Oh, it's not. That's a joke. I so, uh, so yeah. let me uh, let me pull them back up here. Pull them back because up. Because I accidentally clicked on something else. I've been I've been reading a lot of well I did only a little bit of reading but a lot of watching a lot of videos on uh, George Washington Carver yesterday uh, on the Black History Month tip. Oh uh, yeah. Right and then they they do you know they're in business. Oh uh, they you know like pioneer man soybean oils. Mhm. Mm right. Nice man. Nice. No doubt they're employing uh, a lot of his patents. So, <clears throat> Bunge misses by 81 cents. Nah. Never, whatever. Uh, they're up, they're up, they're up, they're up. Yeah. Yes. Reports Q4 earnings of $1.35 per share. 81 cents worse than the uh, consensus estimate of 216. Sheesh. Oh, so why are they out? What, you know, what, what are we missing? Uh, revenues, revenues fell 3.9% year over year. Why are they up? Just, <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 I don't understand that. It. It's just coming off of uh, support. Somebody help me out. It's a technical, uh, <laughs> technical move. What's happening here, Joe? Somebody explain. Uh, um, let's see. Uh, uh, what do they use uh, this stuff for? Here's, I wonder who. Here's here's some quotes from their uh, from their call this morning. Okay. We enter 2014 with good momentum. Lower commodity prices are spurring growth in demand and trade. Soybean crops in South America are on track to set another record level of production. Uh, we expect greater value from the downstream chains. Incremental contribution from our acquisition of Grupo Altex's wheat mills in Mexico. So, have you ever been to Mexico? Yeah. 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 yeah I don't. I don't want to ask why. Um, wow. You got. You went to TJ, didn't you? Tijuana. <laughs> In agribusiness, here's the outlook. With the reduction in crop prices, livestock production economics are generally good around the world, which is positive for oil seed processing mar margins and trade. Uh, soon, soy export demand will be shifting from the U.S. to this region, South America. Mm -hmm. uh, handling and transporting this record crop will pose significant logistical challenge. Why, why is Bunge up? Somebody help me out, please. Uh, I think... Some of what you just said, they, uh, they're expecting a uh, higher value of the chain. They expect the soy green crops uh, to come in good, keeping uh, their margins pretty intact, or maybe even they're hoping probably getting a little more room on the margin tip, maybe. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. I would have to uh, like look into their business a little bit. I gotta know what what is it used for. I, I know. It's, a lot of uses for the wonder and everything. And they add, they're jumping in the weed in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Are they, yeah, are they into uh, medicinal marijuana now? Is that what's up here? Oh, I doubt it. Um, Bunge reported net earnings of $150 million. It, Now, here I've got, from the uh, kids at Reuters, I've got $0.78 cents a share. Mm-hmm. Compared with the year earlier, net loss of six hundred ten million or four seventeen a share. Um, net sales dropped. All I'm seeing is is the quarter was a messy one below the line, but operating performance was decent. This is from uh, J Bob's favorite J P Morgan analyst and. Uh, 
Bunyan. I don't know how to say that name. So management story. Giving him a boost today. <sighs> and well, well, well. And, uh, you guys see yeah, Put him in the. Uh, that's what you do. Put him in the uh, green dots, red dots. You want me to green dot it, red dot yeah, it? Yeah. Maybe red light, to, green light. Maybe that right. shed some light. <clears throat> maybe that shed some light on why this thing's going up after missing earnings. Big, a seemingly big miss you know, to me, and this thing's up. We're just trying to understand markets, man. I'm just know. trying to understand. That's all. Somebody that's help all. me understand. I mean, we may not. never, we'll probably never totally completely understand markets, but I am a complete try. an utter idiot. Please you help try. me. You gotta try. You have to try. <laughs> you know? Ticker BG. Here we go. Red light, green light. Let's see. Um, red, red, red. Uh. Group leaders, I got Anderson's, Pope Resources, Monsanto, of course, the uh, the evil killer of American farmers. Um, composite rating 8. EPS rank 31, ninth in the group. RSI is 30, 13th in the group. Yeah, it's just... Bleh. Market in confirmed uptrend, so... Maybe that's it. That's just it. Got some more support. Is that it's at the uh, 200 day? See if uh, I got 200 day at 7674 today. Let's see if it uh, uh, closes above there. Do it. Right. It's gonna be amazing today, man. You never know. So, like, uh, the market knows. We don't know, but the market yeah. knows. Why right, somebody knows? Somebody's Why jumping in. Going on. Yeah. <clears throat> Going on. going on. We're gonna to get to the five minutes for you, uh, for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna send out our crack investigative team. Good. Just one more question. Uh, excuse to me, the... sir. Just one more question, please. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> one more question. Uh, oh no. Mm. I'll roll in. Where is uh, where's HQ for these guys? I'll roll in there. We'll do a remote. Live work. remote, White Plains, New York. That's closer to you, so we're gonna we're gonna have to send you, man. Yeah, White Plains, New York, <clears throat> upstate New York. Yep. That's, nice. Uh, that's in cow country, isn't it? Yeah, probably snow uh, country right now. You know what? We'll send uh, we'll send cow there. Send cow there. Cows that's closer. Right. We'll uh we'll, <clears throat> we'll stick him in his black helicopter and send him out there. Man, Headed to White Plains. Take your hockey stick. <coughs> Take your skis. <laughs> Just in case, man. In case you oh no, room. Stock Cats! What are you doing? What's Stock Cats doing? What's up? He's man? uh he's sending he's tweeting pictures of me. <laughs> That's hilarious. Stop it! Stop it! Not wrong shirt, man. Let me let me put something better on. I, I need to try and outdo. Yeah, on, I need man. to try and outdo Johnny Weir's outfit. Johnny Weir, you can never outdo Johnny Weir's outfit. Yeah. Yeah. Give like, it up, man. We'll go. We'll go full makeup. Is Johnny Weir the figure skater? He had the Mexicans thing on. He had. I don't know, man. Let's see. Hang on a second. Let me get you. All right. I said this earlier. I said this earlier before we had. Uh, I had some issues with. Uh, well, hold on. Now I'm frozen. I had some issues with uh, with Google and the broadcast just completely uh, whited out. It was probably user error. <laughs> but I I can neither confirm nor deny that. Here we go, uh, folks. If you can help me find uh, where they sell men's clothes that look like this, hang on a second. Um, Johnny Weir Olympic outfit tracker. Here we go from uh, from my friends at Sportsbook Nation. I'm not mad that you didn't hire me. <clears throat> Wait, what? <laughs> what happened? Hold on a second. Uh, they won't return my call, Sewell. Can you believe that? Oh, man. Yeah. Guys. 
Here we go. We're going to do the uh, Johnny Weir. This is the Johnny Weir outfit update. This portion of the show brought to you by the uh, what? Who sponsors this portion of the show? Um, there you go, Sewell. Yeah. It's not the uh, it's it's not um, the Russian coach there. You like that? I'd look good with that. The the Brian Setzer Stray Cats haircut thing going on there. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. Let's see, that's uh, that's his co-host there. There we go, Sewell. I know that's your favorite uh, outfit right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's not very well, but though it is. How about this? I don't like the uh, I don't like three quarter length. Uh, I think uh, I ruffle. think the kids in the Olympic Village call that the Johnny Depp look. Yeah, probably. There we go, Sewell. That's my favorite right there. That's your favorite. One right you like there. that blazer? Yeah, pretty yeah. pretty rich that blazer is. Yeah, that one's not so great. Although I do, yeah. I could rock those pants out. I could never rock those pants. No? No. All right. Thank you, uh, Sports um, SB Nation, whatever, guys who wouldn't hire me either. Just mm -hmm. add it to the list. All right, so what's going on in the markets? Everybody's green. Everybody's green. They're trying to get it. They're buying everything. And it's a, uh, it's, a, uh, it's a serious business going on. Go buy it. It's good for America. Hey. Uh, they're, they're trying it. They're trying it and buying it. Take out uh, yesterday's highs and uh, just could be off to the races. I tell you what, I really like Pepsi here. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I just I think there's more upside with Pepsi than Coke, uh, which I have a long position in one of my 19 portfolios with KO. Mm -hmm. They're trying, they're trying to hold these uh, these loads they got down there. Somebody bought them. Yeah. Uh -huh. Somebody bought them. If, if you've been buying this line since June uh, and selling this line uh, you know, since, uh, uh, since July, uh, maybe, maybe you, uh, you keep on trying it until it doesn't work anymore. This may be. Because sooner or later it won't work anymore. All right, they're on my watch list, so put them on there. Check it out. I might, uh, I might swap out KO for PEP. KO, what, what, what is uh? KO's your, acting. Uh, KO reminds me of Cisco lately. What's your uh? uh let me see. Hang up, on. Up, down, almost sideways. My long position with KO, this includes reinvested dividends, and this is before the split, uh, is up 0.76%. Oh, and then it's acting kind of crazy for you now. It's, uh, all this chop around is not even like this. And I can understand. You can understand my anger? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. How dare you? How dare you? Isn't uh, isn't uh, Buffett's kid? Isn't he on the board at uh, at Coke? Yeah, he me out, me out, I believe. I, I actually wrote an article about uh, about Coca Cola um, back when I used to write for uh, Mio Twit's friends at the Motley Fool. What's the, uh, and I had a picture of uh, of Buffett's kid. I swear, and I even I even mentioned it in the article. I said it looks like he just got finished wiping off his clown makeup. Oh man! He just, he just oh man! He just had this look about him that looked yeah. like he just finished photographing some kid's birthday party in his clown outfit. Yeah, yeah, he does. He does it. He it does was very unsettling. Look. He does have that look. You know, I mean, so, no doubt. Uh, apologies. That's just how the picture looked. Look, I realize mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not anything to look at. Um, so, that's hopefully with the new website, um, we'll mm -hmm. get more viewers, so they can like okay. pull up articles and pull up the uh, the stock bot is getting a serious upgrade with the new website next week. So, yeah. there you go. That's what's up.
Booyow. And next that's month, awesome. at some point next month, we will be celebrating. There will be a, a, a gala celebration of our 100th episode. That's right. Woo-hoo. 100. Hallelujah. Yeah. Huh? Not too many people can say that. Alec Baldwin on uh, MSNBC can't say that. Oh, man. <laughs> Pat Sajak can't say that with no, his uh, with his late night talk show. Yeah. He's All right, what's going on? Sometimes. What do you ki- What do you kids want to talk about? What do you kids want to talk about? Let's talk about um, the markets. Let's talk about the markets. You want to talk about the Olympics? You want to talk about markets? You want to? It's you want to go home? Go around the horn. Let's go around the horn. S and P, Indy 500, 1823.56, up about a quarter of a percent. Go get them. Uh, the Dow is, uh, in your words, trying to get jiggy with it. Mm-hmm. And all up in this mamma jamma. I believe is the technical phrase for that. <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen nine ninety five up uh, two tenths of a percent. Mm. Nazi's showing the kids the way as usual. Power Q, rock it out. Uh, Forty two nineteen fifteen up uh, four point four three percent, point four two percent right around there. So if we don't uh, if we don't close up triple digits, then um, we're gonna have to do something special tomorrow to make it happen. Triple digits, you got to Old man Dow, triple digits. Go get it. Do it. Make it happen. Make it happen, you silly little bulls. Looks like there's a Euro USD short setup uh, setting up. Uh oh. It just looks like it's a mess. I want to share it with the community. Do it. Just in case anybody. Uh, Likes this sort of thing. I got a switch charts. There we go. Yeah, the chart switch. The chart switch. So, look at that. Look at that. Setting up your shorts. Look at the, uh, this is a long time, right? So this starts in uh, 2008. Uh, price tap the line in 2011. Price uh, is hit back here again. Uh, 2011, you see what happened after that. This is a monthly chart. Just zoom out so you can see. But there is upward pressure coming. So uh, as you can see, uh, you got to be careful. But you had a big, you know, you had a big down month, big up month. Now you're trying to, uh, uh, they're trying to have a, a big up month. But if you zoom in, go to daily, uh, you can see there's a lot of turmoil. Price hit it here, uh, nice drop off. Tried to uh, escape here, couldn't. Right here, uh, you got good push ups that run into, uh, you know, uh, good push downs. Good res- uh, resistance here, so it just looks like a uh, it looks like a short end to this. But at the same time, you do have uh, um, upward pressure on it, as you can see. So uh, tight stuff. Right, tight stuff. But if I'm if I'm shorting this uh if I'm shorting this line, you want to make sure as close to this line as possible. You can draw that line on your on your charts easily. Usually monthly charts, you probably already have it on there. You just haven't looked at it for a while. Maybe. Maybe you have too many uh, too many lines and it gets caught up in the, in the fuzziness, but if you just go from uh, this top right here and take it to, 2000, to the 2011 top and uh, just run to the right, you'll see <clears throat> exactly what I mean. That's probably where I'll be trying to, uh, trying to get on. Uh, probably uh, next week I probably wouldn't expect too many big moves to go on on Friday. I mean, big positions to go on on Friday. I certainly can't afford to put a big position on on, on Friday. You'll see the big boys do it. Yeah. yeah. 
that they don't have any little fish in the way to uh, make any noise for them, you know what I mean? They, can do their, uh, they always can do their thing, but you know what I mean? They can get a good price without it getting pushed up by our little stupid bids. That's what they call them. little stupid bids. <laughs> <laughs> so now, uh, this coincides with a long-term uh, fib I see on GBP USD, right? All right. Now, I'm gonna say this is GBP USD. I'm gonna go to a monthly chart right now, and uh, as you can see, I measured the move down from uh, 2008 on down to 2009, which is a vicious move in GBP USD. And that's when that's when everybody's houses decreased by seventy five percent in value. And they start yeah, they start printing. We start printing. Everybody start print. Printing. Yeah, everybody start printing. So I got one six seven five six two, and uh, price looks like it wants to get there. Uh, uh, to me, if you look, it, it, it failed there one time, two times. This will be the third time it got there. And I don't know if there's going to be you know, a flat that fell, or, you know, super crazy collapse or anything. Just a, just maybe a pushback down to this monthly uh, 50, 50 month period. Uh, we got here. Oh, this is you no, know, this is a 233 month. This red line, right? And maybe a pushback down to that, which is at 16527. It'll be different by then because uh, it'll move the price, but uh, you got a little space, but you got a little cushion between them. And now you can uh, watch and just see see what happens. See if it sets up. If you're patient, these are uh, these are. I think these are going to turn out uh, good trades. I'll come back in a couple, you know, a little bit uh, to give an update on these two trades. These are my uh, uh, my forex trades. I probably try to uh, do next week. Try to be sneaky about it. Add start it short. Uh, start it small. And uh, I'll try to build it, see what I can do. <clears throat> but that's it. Okay. There you go, man. That's it. For people who like this type of, uh, you know, type of technical, uh, technical stuff. The funny stories for these two, uh, you know, for GBP, uh, it's super strong. This is a scary thing to even talk about shortening it because uh, look how much it uh, came down and uh, if things are really getting better. Uh, this thing it needs to retrace a lot more, right? Yep. But uh, yeah, these things fluctuate. You know, they're moving straight lines. They fluctuate. Uh, let's just see. USDJPY looking good for the bulls. Uh, you know, the SPX bulls looking good for the bulls. The one-hour chart. I go to a four-hour chart. Looking good. They're trying. They're gonna try and get. See, I'm gonna hit. I see his clothes. It's Thursday clothes. Kim, see what's popping. That's me drinking water. Oh, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize to our sponsors. That's that's very very unprofessional. I apologize. What? No. Um, Soul. No, no, no. Earnings. Earnings are earnings are looking good. What we got two thirds two thirds beating mm. uh, top and bottom so far so far so good unless you're Whole Foods mm. Uh, mm. ticker DBD mm. is it Diebold or Diebold? I know the Germans would pronounce it Diebold because the E comes after the I and that's that's how the Germans did. I can't blame them. Um, I would expect a dividend increase out of these guys, which would be nice, because um, they already offer a 3.4% yield. DBD, no position. They miss on uh, on EPS, but they beat it on revenues. Um, guides fiscal 14 EPS in line sees revenues up low single digits. Closing in on the 52 we got. Exactly. They're trying it. They're trying and, um, it. So after this six uh, percent move today, I would let this thing um, just what do we what do we say digest? 
that just watch and see what happens though. Yeah. Because uh, if it starts taking out uh, 52 week odds, it could get, uh, could get going. This Start thing, rolling. Yeah. Right. This thing might need to uh, reprice itself uh, quickly. And, and they don't want to give, you know, if it's going up, the market doesn't want to give, uh, you know, they want to take everybody with them. They don't want to give you chances to get in. Right? You know, if, if it's, you know, keep going up, it's hard to buy. It's hard for, unless you're a momentum player. You're used to trading, you know, momentum trading. It's kind of hard. Keep buying that quick high, little two, three cent highs. Yeah, I'm watching. Jeez, this is uh, good stuff. Debo, what do uh, what, uh, what they do? <laughs> oh man, Sir Forex PhD is uh, having fun with the stock bot. Uh, Debo, um, okay, they are your friendly ATM machines. Okay, all right. Uh, ATM servicing. I see their trucks all the time. What are, what is my screen doing? Does anybody have an actual like price real time? Cause I can't. Santoli, I can't trust you today, man. You're not working. You're out. You are out, Santoli. Let me uh, let me go DVD. Yeah, I'm fine at all or nothing. Huh? No, that. I'm not doing it. You're out, yeah. Santoli. Yeah, if, you wanna, if you want to talk to me, you you know, DM me. And your people call my uh, people. Yep, that's right. And, and then uh, yeah, then we'll get Marissa on here and talk about the new yeah, the new Yah help. Then we'll talk. Hey, Marissa. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Hilarious. Yeah. TWC, Time Warner Cable. Uh, how do you like to do it? What do you What do you think about that? What do you think about that deal? We can talk much about it. Content is king. Is that right? Booyah. Yeah. I right. will. I will like the uh, the acquirer more than the acquiree. Right, man. Right. And I hope uh, it seems. It just seems like uh, it's getting it's getting one of your irrational cells. I want it to get ugly. I rational cell. Yeah, I need. If somebody could make up something about Comcast, I want Comcast. That would be awesome. Could we start a rumor? What was the, no? We cannot do that. What was the? Uh, Let's start a rumor. Uh, apparently, it, Steve man. Ballmer has been um, oh, has been okay. tagged for CEO of Comcast. <laughs> you're, you're better than that, man. <laughs> you're better than that, man. Oh, we're just stuff? we're just having fun. We're just having fun. We're lawyer, board and lawyers. Lawyers, uh, yeah, let's get some lawyers. Uh, Brower yeah. Piven, my friends exactly. at the uh, at Brower Piven, you uh, stick you. your vultures on uh, on Comcast here. Hang on a second. I told you we needed them, man. I told you that. That's why we need them. So we That's need them for dip. So yeah. Comcast is right in your uh, your neck of the woods, there, man. They're this in Philly. Yeah, yes, they are. In a big way. in Philly. In a big way. Content is king, and they want Time Warner, and yep. So we need uh, we need CMCSA, uh, Brower Piven. If you could, let's um, let's start some sort of class action nonsense going on there. I mean, listen, if you look at the um, make sure and get an idiot judge to uh, preside over the case as well. Somebody that somebody that should recuse themselves but wouldn't. If you look at value today. Bonkers, absolutely bonkers. Yep. This is uh, a crazy spike. You see these type of spikes uh, a few other places, a couple other places. Uh, last one, or the green one. Man. Yeah. What the heck, man? Is there is there another show coming on? Can we keep going? And got, Somebody help me out. I got snow removal duties, bro. You got snow removal? Yeah. I'll just keep man. talking. I'll, 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 Go ahead. I'll start rumors about. You tell me what uh, you, what you want to buy, and I'll start, start a rumor. Start a rumor about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't do it, man. I heard that their yoga pants are see through at Comcast. 
Comcast, uh, the yoga pants are too sheer. Sell. It's not worth it. Sell, sell everything to me. It's not worth it, man. <laughs> Oh man, Brower Piven's gonna be showing up on my doorstep. I, I know it. I gotta, excuse me, sir. <laughs> We're going to have to ask you to refrain from mentioning us in a negative fashion. That is slanderous. We are not, in fact, parasites or vultures. <laughs> the cojones play for today. If you got the cojones. It's the uh, U.S. dollar index, but uh, it's not for kids. This thing is, uh, this is not, uh, this is not tricks. No, you just stuck in here and get some bad feels on the way out, and it will be painful. Uh, if you get caught doing the wrong side of this and it starts moving, uh, today is, you know, it's only 0.4 percent, but it, uh, it's a big deal because. You know, it's the dollar. Every cent, it, you know, represents, you know, hundreds of billions of money. There's a lot of dollars out here. It's a world reserve currency. Uh, when it moves, it moves uh, almost everything else. I'm looking for a strong uh, dollar. I'm seeing weak dollar. So this, uh, you know, the monkey wrench in my whole, uh, my whole model is just trash now because uh, my dollar data in put this trash you know so I gotta you know I gotta, that's why we can't have nice things I gotta so I gotta move with the punches I gotta you know I gotta roll with the punches though I gotta roll um, with the punches with the XL uh, anybody uh, have a long good year tire going into earnings this morning who, who did that would be nice that was the ticker GT GT right. nice ticker 10 Ten and a half percent. New 52-week nice. high. Nice. So uh, they beat earnings. They missed revenues. Uh, you beat earnings. You miss revenue. Means uh, you pay. You, 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 it's too much money going out. Right? Um, but if it's if you're uh, investing, I don't know what they've been doing with money. <laughs> if they're investing, they. they have they done any uh, acquisitions lately? Um, actually, it looks like they're ending their partnership with Sumitomo. Is that correct? Am I seeing this right? Uh, somebody at WSJ, give me a ring. Uh, you guys have my number. Um, I'm not seeing anything out of uh, out of the breakdown from earnings. Mm -hmm. Sales in Latin America fell. Uh, revenues in Europe, Middle East, and Africa segment increased 2%. Revenues Asia Pacific fell 8.7%. Um, and they're up 10.5%. Mm -hmm. So if you look at them over, you know, like everything else, they've been through the ringer over the past 10 years. Yeah. But uh, they have a, a vicious run up and a vicious run down and right smack back in the middle of the data I have. <laughs> On, uh, on screen, on screen, 206 uh, up to 207, uh, 20, 2007 top, which is uh, a monster run up, and it took the uh, it took the steps up, it took the uh, elevator down, <clears throat> fishes down moves in 2007, 2008, bottom down 2009. You would love to get those prices again at four dollars, five dollars for this thing, wouldn't you? <laughs> Buying hold is dead. Can we love to get you know get you about a hundred thousand shares of five dollars? Uh, just I I'm not greedy, man. I'll just I'll take a thousand, thank you. Hundred thousand shares of five dollars. One thousand. One thousand. I'm not greedy, so No, Kim. Don't give me that uh if you had invested ten thousand dollars in Walmart in nineteen fifty. <laughs> Hey, Kim, but you're doing it. No, this is what I'm saying. Kim, you, you, you're doing, saying that. Yeah, yeah, but I'm doing it incorrectly. Hey, man, listen, it's all funny. It's Everything's working. incorrect. Come on. Everything's in, nothing is correct except um, for correction. Except for correction. The correction, yeah. even the correction is incorrect. I mean, you know, sometimes the market always going to be wrong. Did you hear that pop? Somewhere. Oh, gosh. No, I didn't. Uh... 
If uh, since everybody missed Goodyear Tire, we missed the move here. I've got another one for you, Soul. I gave it to you last night. Okay. Ticker GNTX Gentex. Uh, Sir Forex is not. You having a tough time, my man? <laughs> what did you say? He's uh, he's he's dropping some some uh some bad language at the uh, at the stock bot. Why? Why? I gotta be easy on the stock bot when we get the new stock bot, man. That's right. Be okay. nice stock Gentex Corporation Auto Parts. Auto Parts. Um, out of Michigan. The, uh, the great state of Michigan. Automotive, the uh, Sewell, they, they make mi rear view mirrors. You need those objects need uh, those. to do appear closer than they really are. Though, so. If uh, objects are closer, oh, they are closer than they appear. Then they appear. Okay. Uh, GNTX, I've, I've got these guys uh, dialed in my crosshairs. I've got a t shirt. Cannon full of uh, of greenbacks, fresh yeah. printed Bernanke greenbacks. Okay. Now, uh, this is a weekly chart, and it has uh, some some lines here. Uh, that you know, it got is a weekly, so it's a long term chart. 2011, we had a big cluster around this around this line, and uh, it makes me trust it. Uh, for right. just. Yeah, price just hit it again, and, uh, and, and, it's, and it's coming off at the time. So uh, last time, uh, price hit it, it got a uh, try to get above it, couldn't, but it didn't just shoot straight down. It hung around up there like, like, almost the whole year. You know what I mean? That's right. Hug. So if we, right, we start seeing that hug again. Uh, I doubt if it'll uh, just repeat exactly what it did this time, just hug and, uh, and move down some super good stock. And the company doing good things. Uh, a breakout above 35.65. Once a buyer, it's a breakout. Yeah. GNTX. That's, uh, that's. You want me to green dot it? Yeah. Why not? Sorry, I'm not, not too thin, but I'm not too thin, though. Not too thin. Kind of thin. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the only um, red mark on it is accumulation distribution. Mm -hmm. That's a big screaming E. Uh, everything else looks pretty. Uh, Three-year EPS growth rates got a red. Um, EPS estimated percentage change current year is a red. Three-year sales growth rate is a red. Everything else is just screaming green except for the industry group rank is a yellow. Um, well, I like this one, Sewell. I might scale. I might start scaling. What is the industry group again? Uh, auto parts. Okay. I wonder why, why is it yellow? Expecting uh, they also do smoke alarms. Cars. Oh snap! That's nice. Huh? That's Everybody nice needs smoke alarms and rear view mirrors. Right, 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 right. Yeah. What could possibly go wrong? Nothing. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> and I'll do it live on air next week when we get a BTFD with uh, GNTX. Good luck. Good luck with that. Okay, we'll do it live on air. I'll uh, I'll, I'll come up with some cool sound effect like Johnny Weir screaming or something. <laughs> right? Uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> or Scott Hamilton. That's that's another one. Ah! Oh! <laughs> no. <laughs> that's the only reason I watch figure skating. This is to, to hear Scott Hamilton. Uh, do whatever it is he's doing. My goodness. What else we got? Man? What else we got? What's going what else on? we got, kids? Oh, market. Turtle Trader. Um, earlier, uh, I apologize, Turtle Trader. I didn't. I didn't hit this sooner. Uh, ticker SPG. 
And Simon Simon Property Group. Um, and we we looked at this one earlier. So I'm actually thinking about getting out of my long REIT, which I've got a very teeny tiny position with RAS, um, and I'm I'm thinking about this one. Turtle actually said, and I quote from his tweet to us, why is everybody retweeting that ugly picture of me? Um, uh -huh. Let's see. Uh, his tweet to us earlier this morning, about an hour ago, Sewell, and I, I apologize, Turtle Trader, for the, uh, for the tardiness. It, apparently that's like my M.O. Uh, coil, SPG coiling like a rabid rattlesnake. Um, Sicarius, I'm going to look at uh, DLPH. So SPG coiling. Look, that's um. Out of the fine state of. In Indiana. Mm -hmm. um, it's a REIT, Equity Real Estate Investment Trust. Um, are these the guys that rent out to? It's a retail REIT. They do they rent out to um, the Walmart kids? Mm -hmm. uh, it primarily invests in regional malls, premium outlets, the mills, and community lifestyle centers to create its portfolio. Simon Property Group, SPG, and my crosshairs. Um, uh, Securius wants you to look at a five-year chart on ticker DLPH. D L P H. Do you want a you want a five year weekly, five year daily, five year monthly? Want weekly? Let's we'll, we'll start this with weekly. A, this is a let's start with weekly. Okay. Or we can start with whatever you got. I'm locking you in so nobody has to look at my ugly shirt. So I got uh I'm gonna get information going back to I got some IPO on the twenty eleven. So it's only uh, you know, that from, from there to here, but it's a sweet chart. So we can't do a five year with uh, with Delphi. These guys are out of the UK. Right? Did they uh, <laughs> were they were they trading prior to that or auto parts? I don't know. Uh, Let's see. On our uh, did they go over here in 2011? Did they start trading? Got, yeah, I've got, uh, I've got as Al Troutwig, the great Al Troutwig, would say, I've got no histrionics on uh, on these guys. I don't know when they were. Let's go to their home page. How about that? Not a bad look. Not a bad look. This sounds something that, that a Brit would have. Delphi Ethernet connectivity. Oh, come on. It just changed the screen on me. I want the last one. That's very cool. Yeah. Delphi Ethernet Connectivity offers a communications. Hold on, let me. <clears throat> me, 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 me. Hang on. <laughs> let me get my voiceover voice going. Yeah. Delphi Ethernet Connectivity offers a communications protocol for the future of automated driving. Wireless device charging will help drivers stay connected. And focused on the road. <laughs> are they? Uh, are they? Uh, say that again. A little last bit. Excuse me. What? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out if they are. Uh, a takeover candidate for Google and this driverless car stuff. So. Oh no, they're well. They, that's interesting that you uh, that you say that. They're since they're in the auto parts. Let me let me try that again. Hold on. <clears throat> Wireless device charging will help drivers stay connected and focused oh, on the wireless road. device charging. Oh, no, 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 that's not the Delphi gives drivers connectivity the way they want it, when they want it. 
with waiting by <laughs> waiting by. Okay, so they make uh, wireless chargers for, for I mean it's not yeah, bad. They're though. they're auto parts, they do a lot of stuff. Uh I don't I don't know if they fool with rear view mirrors like like my kids at Gentex. Um, so electronics and safety segment for Delphi offers critical component systems and advanced software for passenger safety, security, comfort, and infotainment. Which I don't. Last time I checked, that's not a word. They made that up. They made that up. They had a face like the look on their face, like you see what I did. I don't know if uh, I don't know if kids out of the UK will allow uh, Goo Goo Bear to take them over. Right. Well, I mean, uh, they probably wouldn't have to. They just they, it's not. Uh, I thought I heard you say something else. That's what it was. Wireless charging. Said, yeah, I thought you. Yeah. Infotainment. I heard the less. I thought you, thought you said something <laughs> about driverless. <laughs> Driver. Driverless, yeah, I saw that on the Allows Bloomberg, your so driver so. to stay focused on yeah, the road. Talking about, uh, driverless. Two hands on the wheel, yo. Quit no, texting. No, it's about to be uh, no hands on the wheels. No Google hands on the wheel? That's, uh, oh, Elon Musk is going to make that autopilot. Yeah, no doubt. Hyperloop. Elon Musk, man. You better do something, man. You gotta get uh, you gotta get what more charging stations maybe. That's right. Get the price down on that bad boy. <laughs> you know, he can uh, he can start to, he can really start competing. Right? We are we are slowly walking into sandwich time. Slowly working on the sandwich time, man. We got a, my man Sewell's got to shovel some driveways for yeah. for, his, for his ladies, for his boo. <laughs> Call it the... Uh, Come here, girl. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Come I'll here. shovel your driveway. I'll shovel, <laughs> you. I'll shovel your stoop, boo. I'll shovel your driveway, girl. <laughs> help you out. I just want to get my steps done. I don't want to... Uh, yeah. I don't I think supposed to, it's supposed to swing back around and we're supposed to get a little bit more snow later on. It's uh it's it's just it's coming at you live. Coming at you live. Right. Snow Armageddon. All right. It's kind get of crazy. Your, think, get so. out, did you get your rock stall yesterday? Yeah, I got a little but I didn't get uh well, I only got one bag. I'll be alright. I got like a whole driveway just I gotta stretch it. <laughs> yeah, you'd be all right. What are you mm -hmm. What are you wearing there, my man? What is Who is that? Right. Who are you repping today? NK. NK. Let's see. You play for the name on the front of the jersey, not the name on the back. Yeah, NK. There you go. I see that swoosh. That's all we do. I'm about I'm about to exit that position as well. Oh, One of my man. longest holdings. Oh man, I, don't, I, I wouldn't do it. Man. I wouldn't do it, Kim. You're on. Listen, Kim. Kim, this is what I want to tell you. And it, it doesn't seem like it. Nobody else is going to tell you this. You know, it's not, definitely not going to feel like it. Preach. Right. You are on the precipice of Warren Buffettness, man. In 30 Preach. years, like your grandkids will be okay. Keep these. My keep adding to yeah. Keep adding to your winners. Get rid of your losers. You're going to need a lot. They're going to need. Yeah, I don't know what you what you're going to need. Because, you know, the prices probably won't go too crazy while you're still here. They're going to need a lot. Yeah, they're going to need a lot of money, man. You gotta... So I'm in, a, I'm in a crunch, man. I'm in a situation. All right. Get rid of the losers. Get rid of the losers. They got you in this situation. If you had all winners, you wouldn't have this problem. That's right. You know what I mean? So start with your losers. Check the, you know what I mean? Once you go. run on the losers. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you, Chesapeake. Stuff like that, man. Icon. Uncle Carl, don't be mad at me, but I'm looking at you, Chesapeake. Ford, yeah. you can't even hold 16. I'm looking at you, Ford. Hey, I mean, I'm looking right at you, Alan Mulally, Rock Chalk Jayhawk. I'm looking at you. Five percent ain't cutting it. Five <laughs> percent ain't cutting it. That's uh, I mean, give, uh, Ford's give me some Nike, three hundred thirty-three percent. Give me some Nike. See what I mean? 
This is what I'm saying. Then people could say, oh, you know, you're being, uh, you're being greedy. But they have a proven record. The yeah, only the way you, slaughtered, you, right? yeah, the only way you're going to make real money in stocks is yeah. real. You got to get the compound. You got to, it has to, you got to let it compound. If you can, if you can have that pace, if you can hold it, you can make it through that. I'm telling you. You'll be drinking Coca Colas with Warren Buffett. You know what I mean? Or maybe with his son, the clown. He son. Likes the, uh, I hear he likes the Diet Cherry Coke. That's what I heard too. You drink with the clown son, though. Oh, he man. Make... You had to go there, didn't you? Hey, man. <laughs> That's my boy. I like it. I felt the same way when you, like, like you said. When you said. Oh. Diet Cherry Coca Cola. Mia Warren. All right, so you go, you go take care of your boo stoop. <laughs> Look at that! Look at that big smile on my man. Yeah, no, because I got Lindsay Snow Day. You know the kids on. There you go. Yeah. Right, right, give him a shovel. Give little yeah. boot. Give little Bop a shovel. <laughs> no, Start him off me. early, man. It's me, Lift with your legs. All right. Yeah. All right, let's wrap it up. It's sandwich time. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Do so. Securious. There it is. That's what we say, so. Peace. All right. Let's uh, let's have a good day, old man Dow. I want triple digits. Don't uh, don't make me angry. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Mm -hmm. Just ask my friends at Brower Piven. Keep suing you vultures. All right. Everybody, be safe out there. Stay warm. Warm temperatures are coming. It's going to be 70 degrees out here this weekend, and I'm grilling bison. You're all, <laughs> you are all invited. You believe it or not, bro. You all be safe out there. Seriously, tell someone you love them. We'll see you tomorrow, Casual Friday.